Who doesn't like music? Hey everyone, today is Wednesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday the 5th, and today I was uh, just wanted to talk about music for a bit. Now, uh, I'm not going to go into uh, what kind of music is best and all that. I, I, I just was just thinking about this little thing earlier uh, when I was listening to the radio. Um, uh, at the time, I Will Follow by U2 it came on, and I began thinking, wow, this is like one of their first uh, singles, and then I thought of like how far they come from uh, that to, uh, say, Vertigo back in 2004. Hold up, I should back up and say that uh, I always find it fascinating just how uh, much a uh, an artist or band can grow uh, over the course of their career, so... Whereas I Will Follow versus Vertigo, it's you can tell that they're that it's the same band, but the by the same token, you can also hear the differences and the growth in their career. I guess another example, I guess, is the band Pearl Jam, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, if you listen to like like just how they evolved, like um, like listen to their first album, Ten, versus uh, Binaural, uh, which is released in like 2000 or so, versus their self-titled album, which was released in 2006, uh, you can tell there's a difference. Like, it's always kind of wild listening to how your artists have evolved over the years. And sometimes it can be better, sometimes for worse. Like, I know that Bon Jovi went through a bit of a country phase there, which I wasn't a huge fan of. But, uh, you know, I still like the band, even though they went through that. Uh, yeah, sometimes the changes can be good, uh, sometimes bad. Like. I think that for the most part, uh, U2's changes are, are good. I like the changes they went through, whereas uh, sometimes they're a stumbling block like with Bon Jovi. Um, yeah, uh, I just got to thinking about that. Um, tell me what you guys think of uh, how your artists, favorite artists sounded back uh, when they first started compared to now, and yeah, I'll see you next time.